to create an ongoing in-house membership as always you go to the client information page and click on the new membership slash plans button now once we're here we're going to choose our ongoing in-house so if you see right the description says collecting payments for ongoing membership in-house without entering the finance data in this software so anything that says that it's an in-house membership it means that you are creating this membership without charging their credit card or um, collecting their bank account information. So just to show you, we're going to choose this option, ongoing in-house. Now payment method, here if you see payment type, you can choose it as cash, as debit card, if you have a POS machine, you know, um, at your front desk, if you want to process their credit card through there. Um, any gift cards, any personal checks. So you don't have to enter their credit card, their data or their finance data in the software at this point. So let's say, you know, this person's gonna be paying us cash, right? For an in-house membership. And I can choose either they're creating, you know, either they're gonna be paying you every two weeks or they're gonna pay you every month, right? So let's say I'm going to say that bi-weekly, they're going to pay me $50 okay, in-house. So this is just to create a record. Okay, and I'm going to say their membership starts, let's say, on um, June 1st, starting June 1st. right? And I can choose their expiry date as well. So let's say they're going to be signing up for one year. right? So I'm going to say June um, 2021 until May 30th, oh, sorry, June 30th, right? They're going to be paying me $50 per, um, every two weeks, right? And I'm going to add the tax here. So it's going to give me the total amount, 5650 So this person is going to be paying me cash, this much cash in-house every two weeks. And I'm going to create this membership. So again, any in-house membership, you do not need to add their credit card or their bank account information. So if you see here, it's an ongoing in-house membership, right? So if I was to view it, you're not going to be able to see any transactions how we saw for ongoing monthly or bi-weekly where we entered their credit card, right? And this is just going to show you the billing info, that this is what their billing info is. We're not displaying any credit card data. We're not putting any credit card number because none of that was entered, right? And if you see, there's zero transactions here because this is an in-house monthly ongoing membership for one year, right? So June 1st this year till June 30th next year. And going back to their client information page, we can always verify if it's an active account or a canceled account.